All right, it's Chef Buck here, and today I'm the camera boy, and the camera girl is gonna cook up a Mexican kale dish. So, you want to be nutritious? Kale. <laughs> but you want some flavor? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We could sell that as a tagline to the marketing people at Kale Industries. All right, if all right. You, if you if you want to be nutritious, kale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you got a bunch of kale. You've already got this washed up really well. Right. The grit's gone. Yeah, but otherwise, if you don't wash your kale, you'll end up with a mouthful of dirt. Of grit. It's, yeah. 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 Not a, it can ruin the whole dish. And the good thing about this recipe is you're going to use the uh, leaf and the stem. Exactly. And because we have cumin and we have uh, chili powder, you don't have to worry. Some people think that kale stems have a very strong flavor, maybe even bitter. You put the right seasonings with it and it's okay. But what's nice is we're gonna cut this up into small pieces. We're gonna cook it with our onion and our red pepper. So this is the worst part is just, it can take you a little while if you're like me and it takes you forever to chop things. I'm not, uh, I'm not a fast chopper. So we're just gonna put the stems in one container and then just sort of rip up, get out all your frustrations and rip up the kale. We're gonna put it in a pan. And what we are gonna do, we're gonna get all the leaves together and then we're going and then we're going to um, put just a little bit of salt. It just helps it to moisten so that, again, if you've had raw kale, ooh, it can be a little tough. So you think, I want the nutrients, but God, it's tough. So we're going to prepare it. So we just have one bunch, and you can see that may even be too much. But you just add a little bit, and then you just sort of massage it in. And then you let it sit while you're doing the rest of what you need to do. Kale is a very tense uh, vegetable. It holds a lot of anxiety in its shoulders. <laughs> and so if you just uh, massage it for a little while, it will ease up and relax and become super tasty. Be happy food. Alrighty, so you got your kale already prepared. You've got your corn and your beans uh, rinsed and drained and your uh, onions and uh, your cilantro and garlic chopped up because you want to have all that stuff chopped up. Right, before you get going. Exactly, because once you start sauteing, this isn't going to take too long. So you're going to heat your oil in the skillet. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it on medium to medium high heat. If you're unsure if the oil is hot enough, all you have to do is put a little piece of what you're going to saute. If it sizzles at all, it's ready. I think it's ready. It's ready! So in goes the onions and the red pepper. As well as that little piece of extra nutrition. <laughs> so we're just going to saute these ingredients up for a minute so that they become a little softer, releasing some of their flavor. But don't be afraid, especially if you have your kale pieces as big as we do, they're, gonna, they're not going to give 100%, especially not like your onion and your red pepper. All you're trying to do is get your onions where they're starting to become translucent, your kale stems look a little darker, then we're going to add the other ingredients. So you're just going to add in your corn and your black beans, you're going to add in your garlic and the cilantro stems, then we're going to add in some seasoning. So we've got some cumin, we've got some chili powder, and we've got some pepper. I like to add the garlic after I've sauteed the bigger vegetables. That way, you don't cook them to death. To me, they have a, they, a little more of the flavor comes through. We've stirred it around a little bit. We're going to turn it down to a little less than medium. We're going to cover it and just let it cook, just like this without the kale, for three to five minutes. Almost done. Okay, so we've let all of these great flavors merge. So all you have to do now is you have some cilantro, and you can always have some extra to garnish. I think fresh cilantro is always great. Yeah, so this is the leafy part yeah. to the stems that you added with the garlic. Exactly, and then we're just gonna dump all this kale on the top. It's gonna release its moisture. So this kale, that you salted a while ago. See, now it's very soft and wilted because of that salt. And now you're just adding it to the top of the pan and you're not really cooking it with the uh, no. with the beans and the corn. So we've thrown the leafy vegetables on top and now we can just neglect it. We're gonna basically let the sauteed items steam through 
the, the leafies. So you can neglect it while you're getting anything else you want together. We're just gonna we're gonna keep it really low maintenance. We're just gonna have some cherry tomatoes and maybe some avocado. So we're letting our leafies get steamed by the sauteed. Look at how dark the kale is. It's beautiful. So we've mixed it all up, and this is where you can do your taste test. Just decide, hey, do I need anything else added? It's good, but you know. I am going to add just a little more salt. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't put much salt on the leaves. Well, salt can come in in such sneaky places. Even this particular can of corn that we have, I realized when we were using it, you know, you pick something off the shelf, it has salt. So it's good to give a taste test because you don't always know where you might get something like salt. So I've just added a little more salt. And again, look at that. Even within these few minutes that we've been blabbing, look at how much the kale has shrunk. So you think a whole bunch of kale. Oh my god, I don't want to eat that. But look, now it just peeks out in between the corn and the beans. Let's eat. So we're going to have a food stylist contest to see who's the uh, who makes the best plate. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, it's That's like a work you know of art. Look at you, you're I don't know. That looks <laughs> that looks like a a spider attacking. No, it doesn't. It looks like I want to eat now. Yeah. Alrighty, but we're going to serve this uh, kale and bean and corn dish with just a little avocado and some tomato. You know, so we're turning this, which could easily be a side dish, into our entree. We're trying to become the beautiful people. We are the beautiful people! <laughs> the kale hasn't been overcooked, but it's super soft. You know, it's not that, uh, that prickly kale. Prickly? It's not, it's not the kale of your nightmares. It's the kale of your dreams. So, give it a try. Let us know what you think. And bon appetit. Lame. <laughs> Although your dish isn't. <laughs>